We are in the Frankie Rollins kitchen today with Ted Polfelt, who is representing 419 West today. And you brought a very special guest with you today. I did, uh, Chef Chris Hill. Um, Welcome, Chris. Thanks for having me. No, Pleasure absolutely. to be here. So you have a book. I do. It is called <laughs> Making the Cut. That's right. What is this book about? It's about, you know, I, um, I saw a lot of pains and struggles in the culinary world. You know, a lot of our contemporaries are having issues trying to be successful. And mm -hmm. I interviewed a bunch of actually our contemporaries as well, some a little bit older, uh, who've made it successful for themselves. So I wanted to kind of figure out the common factors that make them all successful. Okay, Tell their so this is a if somebody mine. is kind of struggling, trying to wants figure it to out. be a chef, this is the perfect book it for It is, yeah. Okay. It's all about kind of personal growth and trying to figure out your way uh, in the in the world. In the world. Very awesome. cool. Well, Ted knows a little bit about success. He sure does. <laughs> Heading out to uh, Arizona here uh, thank you. On, on Thursday. Good luck to you on that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. So, 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 what last, are you night, making? so last night we were camping out at uh, Chef Shope's uh, land not too far from here. Mm -hmm. And we fried some chicken livers, made some tacos out of them. Okay. So we uh, thought we would have some fun and do the same thing here. Neat. Yes. Okay. And, uh, a little so bit more of a controlled environment. So what is going into this? You have chicken liver. Yeah, well, they, what is in there? They've been in this buttermilk for a couple hours. Okay. And here we have... Oh, just equal, buttermilk. Yep. Equal, oh. equal parts uh, flour, cornmeal. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then just going to dredge them, and then we'll drop them in here. All right. We're going to step 350 on, yeah. degrees. That's why I have you over there, right? Yep. <laughs> and Thank you for that, too. It might pop a little bit, so be careful. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have to... Uh, Redecorate your kitchen. Now, why do you choose chicken liver? You know, um, I love the flavor of chicken livers. They okay. um, they have such a nice marrowy taste to them. Okay. Uh, they kind of throw people off a little bit, but when you make them nice and crispy, they have a good texture. It'll be perfect with these tacos. We got some uh, onions, cabbage, a little bit of hot sauce, and some lemon juice to make it nice and uh, kind of refreshing at the very end. So. Mm, okay, that sounds yeah. good. Wow. Not quite right. as sophisticated as what he's been doing in Arizona, yeah, but no, but no. it should definitely work. Do you know what you're making? Arizona? Uh, yeah, but I can't talk about it. Oh, you can't? Okay, <laughs> all right. No, but you do have it, like, you have, you know what you're making. You have it prepared. You're not going to reveal any of it. But no. is that kind of how it works? Yeah. Everybody, all the chefs are we do. preparing they, their meals. Yep, they told us about a month ago, we're cooking trout and rabbit. Okay. So I know that for sure. We, we practice, and uh, hopefully it's our day. We'll see. So, all right. We're excited. That's exciting. We're a good chef. Yeah, we're we doing. And they only take a couple minutes, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Gosh, not even so, a couple minutes. That is quick. That is quick. Really yeah, just you see and then what brown. do you have over here? You I got some tortillas we're toasting out for this. You know, when chefs soak them in the buttermilk, um, that acid is going to kind of help really kind of cut down on some of that gaminess of the liver. And we're going to have a little bit of lemon juice, and we're going to make a delicious taco. And that, that's kind of what freaks out. I know my wife kind of freaks out. She yeah. doesn't like chicken livers. She doesn't like that gamey taste. And this mm -hmm. is a It's going to cut down on that. It's not yeah. going to be that gamey. Okay, well, good Interesting. tip. All right. So how do you know it's done? Well, you <laughs> so technically like really that, can't. Uh, in this in here, but about three, like three to four minutes. Okay. And um, like that one I put in last isn't quite there yet, but you know they're, they're not very thick. Okay. They're being surrounded by all the oil, so it's really nice and hot. Mm -hmm. So let them cool on what, a. What who decided to make this last night? Uh, Chef show. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then, really? we, then we thought we'd run with it and have some fun with it here with you guys. I love it. Thank you. A lot easier when you have the nice setup of the off kitchen versus uh, the campfire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. no, but you guys got fancy fun. at the campfire. Oh. We yeah. really. It's the only way to camp out. Can, can that's soup. Right. And that's it. <laughs> that works too, though, right? As long as yeah. you have something mm -hmm. heated up. Exactly. Oh, it smells good. really good. Looking killer, Chef. Mm. Got a little bit of salt. Like we said, just a touch of lemon juice is going to. Help with that flavor and cut down on the game. So. Now, is chicken liver something you can get at the grocery store? Oh yeah, extremely it uh, cheap. Know, it's it's cheap. Okay. It's one of those one of those things. It's like chicken thighs and all those offcuts. People were all used to eating chicken breast, the yeah. light mm -hmm. meat, but the dark meat, these offcuts. That's how people, you know, survive for a long period of time. We just kind of got away true. from it. And that's where all the flavor is too. You know, right. white meat's good, a little bit better for you, but this is where all the flavor is. So. Okay. That's right. All right. Throw well, together some tacos. We're going to offer up the recipe on our website, and you can look for fried chicken liver tacos. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, head on over to 419 West on Electric Road, 419-west.com, and give them a call. We will prepare these during the break, and we'll try them when we come back. We'll be right back.